Since we were focusing on preservation and rebirth in Biddeford, we couldn't resist one foray across the river to its twin city, Saco, where some unique and colorful local history of its own is enjoying a new life. When people come here, they touch the past. You see the computers, you see TV, you see all of that, but there's one place in Saco in our area, York County, that stayed the same and it's this place, it's a general store. So retired teacher Peter Scontras and his wife Bridget reopened the historic Weiwei General Store in 2011. Begun in 1916, it got its odd name because at that time, well. People would come out here and it would take a while, huss and buggy, the old cars, you get stuck in the mud. So this was way, way out of town. Yeah, way, way out of town. Scontras loves the history here and hates to part with any of it like the retro gas pumps out front, freshly painted, but out of gas for 30 years now. Question, how often do you still have people who try to get gas? <laughs> Does it happen? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. One lady tried to come straight through and she smashed up some of the antiques. Great. Plenty of iconic main products and the original candy counter, still well stocked and where kids still stand on a box to get a better view. Well, never mind Moxie, Peter, you have another main tradition here, Needham's. Needham's has coconut in it and main potato. And an original box of Needham's. Now, you know, the real irony, of course, is that you know where Needham's never caught on, really? Needham Mass. Needham Mass. <laughs> to be fair, the modern age has made some inroads here, to a point. Bridget and I broke down, and we have credit card machines now and a debit card. Oh my it, goodness. It took 102 years. So we finally had the credit card and debit card machine. You got phones? Uh, uh, <laughs> no, we don't have a phone here. No one seems to mind, least of all the owner, who also seems happy to forget that he and his wife were only going to run this place for two years. So you're six years past your deadline. Yeah. You're still running it. It's harder than you thought to give it up? Why? It's such a rich experience in the people that you meet. At some point, we won't be here and we want to pass this store on to somebody who will appreciate it, because to us, the store has a soul. And Peter likes to joke that he was forced to buy the Weiwei store. He initially visited to ask about selling canoes on the closed property. That started a rumor in town that he was buying the store. Folks were delighted and he felt he couldn't let them down. The Weiwei store will reopen this spring for the 2021 season. And that is Chronicle for tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Shana Seymour. We hope that you and yours are staying safe. We'll see you tomorrow night. Good night, everyone.